Hello everyone, you are watching a video by the Poker Pop-Up Statistics Workshop. Today I will present you our new analytics package called Analytics MTT. This package consists of three big blocks with reports texture, post-flop and pre-flop reports. Let's start with pre-flop. Uh, here you see raises first in, the open raises, and a person's subsequent raises after an open raise. The first pop-up is total open raise, and you can see more specific stats for respective positions, for example small blind. We can see total open raises, reactions to 3 bets, 4 bets, folds to 5 bet, and all of these stats are split by sizings. But if we want to know such stats by stack size, we go to the stack tab. You can choose uh, two options, either our opponent's real stack or the effective stack between the players in the hand. Same applies to button, cutoff, hijack, MP, MP1, and UTG. The next pop-up versus race first in. Here we can see all the possible reactions to open raises, big blind versus all positions, small blind versus positions, and so on. Here we have folds to open raise, call to open raise, 3-bet, reaction to 4-bet, and 5-bet. We can also see those stats only for a specific stack size or for a specific effective stack um, between the two players in the hand. For example, button versus mp2. The next pop-up is isolation 3-bet. This one's quite simple. We can see how a person reacts to a limp and an isolation race in front of him, as usual split by stack size. The next pop-up is about limping. We can see both open limps as well as over limps and reaction to isolation raises. Next pop-up versus two raises. This means our opponent has seen two raises in front of him. And then he can either cold call a 3-bet or cold 4-bet and then what happens after a cold 4-bet. Next comes squeeze. How a person squeezes, how he overcalls instead of squeezing. Of course split by stack size as usual. And here we have a versus squeeze stats. Reactions to squeezes all in, not all in, as raiser, as caller, versus various positions, and here we also have uh, the stats split by stack size. The next pop-ups are about our post-flop play. Here we have our total stats and uh, various positions versus other positions, also split by effective stack sizes. As you can see there is a multitude of lines, plenty of them, covering almost all of the possible scenarios. Preflop raise in position, a uh, similar pop-up preflop raise out of position, and here we have single raised pots, caller in position, position versus position, stack size is split, and caller out of position, also split by effective stack sizes and various positions versus other positions. Caller and 3-better in 3-bet uh, pots, also similar in structure. Uh, here we go, 3-better in position, 3-better out of position, also split by uh, various positions and stack sizes. Limping game between the blinds in different scenarios. Uh, if the small blind limps, if the big blind checks after the small blind limps, if the small blind limp calls, and if the big blind raises to a limp. Also, as usual, split by effective stack sizes. Limp calling from all the positions except the small blind. The remaining big block is texture various lines on various board textures. On the left side we see the board texture and here we have all of the possible lines. C-bet flop turn river or C-bet check fold, check check bet, 
check, check, uh, check fold, etc. And we have four options as preflop razor, as collar, as preflop 3 better, and collar of a 3 bed. Also split by various text sizes, and here we can switch uh, position versus position. For example, small blind versus big blind, or button versus big blind. In the future, uh, more texture pop-ups will be added for positions that we don't have right now. For example, uh, button versus small blind. That's it. Thank you for your attention.